is the story about the guy who introduced both of those to Britain. Sir Walter Raleigh was a high achiever. He was not just an explorer, not just a military man, he was also a writer, a pensmith, a quill wielder. He had the pen, he had the gun, he had the compass. So he was quite a lonely man, he thought, I've got to meet a woman. And the woman he turned out to meet was none other than old Queen Elizabeth I. And the Queen, she'd been out on a night out, and uh, she'd come across a puddle, there was a huge puddle. She didn't know what to do about this until a man emerged from the darkness. Was it Jack the Ripper? No, he wouldn't be around for another 300 years. This was Sir Walter Raleigh. And what did he have in his hand? A large cloak. He charged forward, stop, Queenie, do not put your royal feet upon that water. I'm going to put my coat down on that puddle so you don't have to walk across. The Queen said, that sounds really, really pleasant. And he went, oh, this is a new coat. Oh, Jackie Bart, I've made the gesture you could just walk around. She went, put it down! And he went, oh, I can't put it down. So the coat was down and the Queen's feet were dry like Rivita on a sunny morn. And she turns round and says, you are a man I will be keeping my eye on. And he thought, that is a coat worth abandoning. This may pay off in the long run. What way can I better this? I thought, I know, going into war in Ireland. So Raleigh swaggered across to Ireland, headlong into this battle, which is called the Siege of Smerwick. Raleigh heads back to England. He's a massive hero, and the Queen is ecstatic. And it's kind of at this point the Queen starts to see that there might be like a mild attraction there. The, 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 the foot starts to twitch, the eyebrow lifts, she then says, first of all, I would like to knight you for your valiant efforts abroad. And she goes, I would knight you, Sir Walter Raleigh. And then she pretends to chop his neck off and he laughs. And then she goes, I would also like to offer you the ability to colonize a small part of America. And he goes, brilliant, because I'm an explorer. She goes, exactly, you know me so well. And they kind of hug in that awkward way that mates do who really fancy each other. They pull away and they think about kissing, but neither do. And he says, I've got to do some exploring. See you later, Virgin. And she goes up to her bedroom and finds a carrot. <laughs>